ask that your Holy Spirit's presence would be among us in power, that you would speak to our hearts directly, that you would allow us the privilege of conviction today, and that all these things uh, would bring glory to you and would lift up your son Jesus who died for us. And God, I just thank you and praise you for it all, and we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. stand for our final song, page 351. What a friend we have in Jesus, page 351. Uh.
354. Page 354, what a friend we have in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. opportunity to worship the Lord here this morning. And friend, I want to say to you, it is a grand opportunity, more so than us who are accustomed to liberty realize. But we are here in this country allowed to peaceably, freely meet and assemble with the right to do so legally. And that's incredible. Thank God for that blessing. God has indeed blessed us to allow us to be part of this country. Pray for folks that are meeting today on the Lord's Day that aren't able to do so legally. And uh, be, uh, be in prayer for them. And and, uh, and thank God for the liberty that you have and exercise the use of it. Well, what a, what a silly thing to be free to go to church and not do it. That's just as incredible to me. Be allowed to do it without any kind of problem at all and then not do it. What? I mean, what nonsense. Anyway, it's the Lord's Day and we are here today because Jesus is alive and He's risen. He was risen on the Lord's Day. That's why the church has always called it the Lord's Day. You read the New Testament of the Scripture and you see it referred to as the Lord's Day, not the Sabbath day. Uh, it's not rest day. It's a day we worship God. and Praise God for today. And uh, we're going to worship Him here this morning. I have begun to do so already. And I'm just grateful for the opportunity. I hope you are as well. I want to mention some things this morning that are coming up this week and incredibly important. But we'll begin with what's happening tonight. Tonight we're going to have a service like we've never had in the history of our church. We're going to sing the whole evening service. And we're going to take requests for songs. And so tonight's a song service. And I don't think that we'll do that often. If you're bothered by it, well, you don't have to be bothered by it one time, but we're going to praise the Lord in song this evening, and it's just going to be a praise service. We're going to sing hymn requests, and so you would be singing your hymn request all day, and then come tonight and share it with us, and we'll sing it together. We're looking forward to that. 